Woods wasn't great, probably. The second half was pounding. And then can you walk us through the last three and a half minutes of what, what kind of went, what Thank went wrong? Um, thought maybe just some things you know didn't go our way, but you know that's how you that's how you play on the road. Um, I, I thought our execution in the second half was was great compared to the first half, but um, obviously you can't have those kind of deficits on the road. What was wrong in the first half? Was it just something their intensity, their length, whatever, taking you out of things? Was it you guys not responding? What, what was it? Uh, I mean, it was a little bit of that. You know, just just not really moving on offense, um, executing. Um, it, it really wasn't much on offense. It was more of a defensive um, thing in the first half. We just got to get stops. Did they call two different things on the tie-up? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Evan, what did you feel like kind of sparked things there in the second half? You know, I just think, uh, I think in the first half, I think we kind of beat ourselves a little bit. And I think you know, we talked about that at halftime. It's coming out in the second half and, and coming out with a little bit more fire and a little bit more intensity and in executing our stuff. And, Kind of just slowing ourselves down and, and making sure we were doing the right things, and you know, I just think that you know, once we started executing, and once we started to really, you know, box out and get rebounds, I thought that we started to kind of go on a little run. Coach, this game in the Virginia Tech game is it showing you how good you guys could be, how you could win those games if it just were not if you were more poised to even in some stretches of the game? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we, we can't have one bad half and one good half. Got to have the, the same energy and the same focus the, the entire game. Anything else? <laughs> what do you just kind of put into perspective at this point in the year? Obviously, you guys played so well in the second half, and of course, the, the kind of get away in the last three and a half minutes. Just, can you kind of put that into words? Um, it's just executing down the stretch. You know, um, it's just it's tough in an environment like this. You know, when, when things don't go, to your, go your way, you just got to move the ball and execute. And, um, we did it towards the end. All right, thank you guys. Any questions for Coach Fainer now? Not what you just see in the last three and a half minutes relative to what you've seen in the second half prior. Yeah, you know, I thought we, you know, we did some good things in the second half. Um, you know, just didn't take care of the basketball. Made a couple hustle plays and got Klein a, th a good look at three off a rebound, um, but we, we, we just didn't, you know, get the plays necessary. But you know, we we close the game out. You know, we make our free throws and you know, just get fouled there at the end. You know, we had to put us up three. We get a stop, and then uh, we're shooting free throws again. So um, you know, we, we just had to take care of the basketball and you know, make better decisions and just you know, kind of finish you know the game out by. You know, being solid, being fundamentally sound. Was that first half reminiscent of, of the things you thought cost you also at Virginia Tech? Or was it really yeah, they just shoot the ball too quick. You know, don't take care of the ball. You know, even though we about pulled it off, but you know, it's, it's just hard to have 20 turnovers on the road and expect to win. And uh, we had more than 20 turnovers because tough shots are turnovers. So we, we we just were we were quick. Anytime they swarmed us and two three people you know were around, we were trying to make plays through them instead of just you know jump stopping and making fundamental plays and. I think that's what you know. Villanova did such a good job against them of, of, of jump stopping and, and making the next play and being under control. Where we tried to knife through them too much. You know, it's tough to knife through size and you know athleticism and length. You have a unique talent in Carson. How much of that is on him and the role he has on this team to play more poised? Right. Yeah. You know, each situation you, you can answer things generally all you want, but each situation <laughs> is different when you can get angles and you can you know you can score the basketball and. Um, you're as talented as he is, so just got to keep learning. You know, just got to keep getting better, and um, you know, you know, he, he did some really good things for us there in the second half, and we we just got to build off it and as a team. We just got to be more consistent. You don't have anything to show for it from a win perspective, but you know, the first half in Virginia Tech and the second half here. Are you seeing what they're capable of? Sure, but you know, we got to be consistent. You know, it's a it's a 40 minute game, and you know, we have to you know we have to play better, you know, for 40 minutes and be more consistent. You got to make to grow into. I think it's just you know a maturity, just being disciplined. It's, it's not like the guys that we're asking to do that haven't done it before, you know. Just the success you have with four guards out there. I know Brady's foul trouble probably factored into that. Right. That helped you match up better. Yeah, you know, just having another ball handler out there, another skilled guy. Um, I thought Sasha did some really good things for us defensively. 
um, gave us some energy, and uh, I, I thought he played well. We, we just shortened our rotation there in the second half because we played so well together. Did something happen to Aaron in the first half that you want to trade him? No, I just, we just put him in. I put Travion at the center. You know, doesn't play the center. So I just put him in there. I thought, he, you know, he, he's done some good things in practice, and um, he's going to be a really good player. And he got in there, made two free throws, and, you know, helped us out. Matt, in the last two or three possessions on your team, did your team, was it able to call the plays that, or were they able to run the plays that you wanted in the last two or three possessions? Um, the one we did, um, when we got a good look, there, but you know, the, the other one we had the turnover. You know, when we had the ball screen up the top, and we came in there, and we tried to kind of thread the needle. Um, but we had the ball in the right guy's hands, you know, and uh, he, he just tried to make a pass. And Florida State did a good job of getting their hands in there and getting a steal. But yeah, we had it to where we wanted it. We got the matchup, we got the switch, and then we just, you know, we just have to make that play. Was that last play setting up? Was that supposed to be Ryan bringing it up and taking the shot? Yeah, we're supposed to get to Carson, just like they've done all game, taking those passes away. We just had to. We just had to get him the basketball there and then, you know, let him go in the open court. And, you know, you would think in that situation that they would overdo it with him in terms of once he got the basketball. But we had to get the basketball to him in that situation. Did they do something different on it? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. The whole game, they, they face guarded and we were able to cut and get the basketball. We just had to get it. You knew this was going to be a, a big challenge for this team, but now to regroup off of this, Short turnaround with travel and going against Michigan is playing as well as anybody right now. I mean, yeah, the challenge for them. Yeah, just it's part of it. You know, it's what you want. You know, you want to have these type of challenges, be in these type of games. Obviously, you want to come through and win the games, but you know, you got a quick turnaround and it's just you know part of the business. Anything else?